hunters come from all walks of life. And for most, the annual deer season means a week off work and a journey into the backwoods in hopes of harvesting some venison for the freezer. From financial services and CEOs to truck drivers and tradesmen, like-minded individuals all come together to share the tradition of the deer hunt. I'm a structural technologist. I manage a group that works for an engineering firm in Whitby and we inspect bridges. I work construction as a sprinkler fitter, fire protection. I sell life insurance and I specialize in estate planning. Retired. Once in camp and wearing hunter orange, he'd be hard pressed to point out who does what for a living. Congratulations, Mike. Look at this brew. <sighs> this country was built on fishing, hunting, and trapping. Pursuing wild game in the vast lakes, rivers, and forests has been a part of Canada's heritage for over two centuries. Back then, it was about survival. Today, anglers and hunters act as stewards with a focus on conservation, wildlife management, and habitat preservation. Whether you're urban or rural, fish or hunt, you should support sound wildlife management and proudly say that I am an angler and hunter. The Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters celebrating 85 years of conservation proudly presents Angler and Hunter Television. Brought to you by Canadian Tire, a proud partner of Angler and Hunter Television. Mercury Marine and Lund Boats. Yamaha ATVs. What kind of Yamaha are you? Browning, the best there is. Excalibur Crossbow, compact recurve technology. The new matrix changes everything. And Yukon Gear. Keep on pulling, buddy. Oh, he got off and he was huge. Big one! Recently, we invited other outboard owners to look deeper into Mercury Verado. The mid-range throttle response is amazing. Got a lot of power for low RPM. Whoa! I can't get over the, the, the power that it has, how quickly it accelerates. The torque is unbelievable. Verado is up to 13% quicker than other four-strokes. Visit MercuryMarine.com to see more ways Verado beats the competition. Mercury Marine, look deeper. Feel that bad boy? It's not about the shot itself. It's about all that came before it. A company that's given back to conservation so that the tradition of hunting will continue. A leader in innovation since its founding. It's the legendary excellence you've come to expect. You've got that history in your hands. Now it's about settling the crosshairs, focusing on that moment in time, and one legendary trigger pull that changes you. Winchester, the American legend. I guess my first Yamaha was uh, 1986, and uh, after that it was Yamaha, Yamaha to no end. When I look at uh, timber property that I'm going to buy or, or, or be harvesting, you need a good reliable machine to get you through the swamps. Pretty rough going some places. Different people have asked me about, you know, why I buy Yamaha. Keep buying them because of the reliability and the product that they make is just uh, what we want. I'm Barry Elmhurst, owner and operator of BW Forest Products, and this is my Yamaha. Closed captioning for Angler and Hunter Television is provided by Winchester Ammunition, an American legend. <laughs> I started hunting 21 years ago. Uh, my good friend Pete Stell owns the property we're currently hunting on, and we come, we've been coming up here ever since. I've been hunting for, let's say, 25 years. I was introduced, uh, my father hunted, so I was always uh, hunting with him ever since I was probably 12 at least. And uh, yeah, up until now. I've been hunting for over 25 years, and uh, 
I was introduced to hunting, I guess, well, when I was maybe 15 years old. My dad and I both decided at the same time to start hunting. We took the hunter safety course and uh, just started going out on weekends, doing a little duck hunting and gradually evolved into uh, going to deer camp. And I was introduced to it my father way back when I was a little kid. Uh, not very much, but he sort of got us going on it, just shooting, planking with 22s, stuff like that. And so I've been doing it for about 50 years now. For 25 years, I have spent every deer season with the same group. And today, we'll be getting an inside look at why this tradition means so much to so many different people. Hunting for me is a getaway from work and the everyday stresses in life. And it's just about getting together with my friends and enjoying the hunt, enjoying the camaraderie, enjoying hanging out with my friends. Harvesting a deer is a bonus. Um, it's, it's good, again, just getting together with the friends and, you know, enjoying the hunt together. Uh, definitely not. Harvesting an animal definitely doesn't matter. It's more about getting away with your friends. Um, for me, it's about spending time alone in the bush is nice. It gets to hit that big reset button and you don't have to think about work or anything like that. You're focused on one thought, really. Uh, so for me, it's that. And, you know, we eat like kings and, uh, and that's good. Come back a little heavier, but uh, that's par for the course. Harvesting an animal does matter to me. It's not the most important element of the deer camp, but uh, it's one of the reasons why we're here. And uh, the fellowship with my friends, my brother, that's one of the reasons why we're here as well. And again, just a time to uh, step back from life a bit and, and relax. Just the guys getting together and really enjoying themselves. And when you get a deer, it's a bonus. Good friend Peter Stell owns the property we hunt on and converted a century-old farmhouse into a camp best suited for hunting. No running water and outdoor plumbing is typical for most camps. We do, however, have the luxury of hydro, so cooking a gourmet meal and tuning in the odd hockey game is always a part of the tradition. Each fall, the guys head up to the camp to clear trails, shooting lanes, touch up tree stands and cut firewood. But lately, we focus a lot of our efforts on enhancing the property by planting food sources and adding mineral attractants to key areas in hopes of attracting more deer to the property. The best way to get a pulse of what's going on in any hunting location is to mount trail cameras in high traffic areas or areas that have been enhanced with attractants. This season, we installed six cameras in hopes of capturing some of the resident deer on the property. But to our dismay, a few of them went missing and were stolen over the few weeks we'd been away. This area here is one of the best feeding areas we have for uh, whitetail on the property. And uh, a couple weeks before the season opened, we came in here and uh, put some bait out and set up our trail cameras in hopes of seeing what was going on. Now, unfortunately, on our first day in here this year, we pulled in, came in to check our cameras, Unfortunately, the cameras were gone. And uh, trespassing is a big issue for property owners and, and a lot of guys with hunting property because uh, people will come in and steal tree stands and trail cameras, they're worth a lot of money. So we've won up these guys and hopefully um, we'll get them on camera. What we've done is we've got the new lights out edition. And these cameras don't emit any light, so you don't know where they are. If you're walking through the woods, you get your picture taken and uh, Little do you know that uh, you're going to be famous and on television. Um, hopefully we get a shot of these guys and hopefully we find out who's trespassing, but if not, uh, it's not a big deal. At least uh, we might get uh, some more deer on camera and know if this is a good stand. Well, the lights out cameras work like a charm. Some does and fawns and even a spike were using the area, as were these two unnamed creatures. We'll call them trespassers for lack of a better term. That's right. Game cameras also make great security cameras that gave us some great photos to make up these awesome wanted posters. Gear up with Canadian Tire. Deer hunters come in all shapes and sizes, as do the calibers of rifle they prefer to hunt with. 270, 3030, 7 mil mag, the options are endless, but it's good to know how the cartridge you select actually performs. Let's say you're shooting a 30 out 6. To get the best bang for your buck, I suggest Winchester's Super X Power Max Bonded. The bonded, jacketed bullet was designed specifically for the white-tailed deer hunter at an affordable price. 
Winchester's proprietary bonding process while it's led to a copper alloy jacket where the two act together during expansion for improved penetration and retained weight. The 180 grain protected hollow point has massive knockdown power and will let you take longer shots with velocities up to 2700 feet per second. To pick out the best cartridge for your caliber, check out your local Canadian Tire store or visit canadiantire.ca. I have a daughter, Madison, she's 12, and she's been up here a few times with us uh, when we are preparing for the deer camp, but also this year she came uh, when we went duck hunting, and uh, Simon was here with his father, Dave. They were out together with us and, uh, again, helped with retrieving the ducks, and just, you know, the whole experience, she really enjoyed it. I'm not sure she's ready to start hunting yet, but I think she will when she gets older. Angler and Hunter Television continues after this break. The new Excalibur Matrix changes everything. Matrix is the first compact recurve crossbow. Matrix is faster. Try 380 feet per second and more powerful. Matrix is lighter, better balanced, easier to cock, quieter, has less recoil, is more consistent, more accurate. It can't be dry fired. It can be decocked. Matrix is superior in every way. The new Excalibur Matrix changes everything. They're up there, you know. I've been to the ship. I've seen things. I've smelled Look, things. Look, I'm trying to forge here. They fool you with the smell. They got me, but I escaped. Yeah, from the loony bin. The scent was like a blood trail, but it's deception. Get away from me. Beware, my friend. Trust no one. Trust no one. Think GPS is just for getting you to the lake? Think again. The new iPilot wireless GPS trolling system can hold your boat in place like an electronic anchor, record and retrace productive fishing paths, automatically keep you on any bearing you choose, and take total command of speed and steering. iPilot controls your boat with wireless GPS precision so you can focus on fishing. And it's only from Minn Kota. The choice of firearms varies for each hunter, but a rifle is the best option for hunting in the backwoods. Rifles are fast shooting, accurate, and have effective knockdown power at long range. From 3030s and 308s to 270s and 30-06, you can rest assured that you can confidently take down any deer with a well-equipped rifle. This year, I took out the new Browning X-Bolt 270 WSM. Now, WSM is Winchester Short Magnum. Now, the X-Bolt is a well-balanced, highly accurate rifle with a short action. Why the short action? This X-Bolt is a 270 Winchester Short Magnum, meaning the old 270 cartridges were long and narrow. The new 270 WSM cartridges are short and fat with the same size bullet, giving them faster, flatter trajectories. Now the, with this short action, you can reload and put in another shell real quick and be ready for your next shot. I've matched it with this Bushnell 3-9 Elite 40mm scope. Why 3-9? Well, I like the 40mm first of all for a nice wide range of vision. Now 3 power is great for uh, looking at uh, game in dense brush. Turn it up to 9, you got some real high magnification for long shots across beaver ponds, marshes, etc. Um, it's a great setup for deer. Check out the uh, Browning X-Bolt 270 WSM uh, for your next hunting outing. Our routine is pretty standard. We head out in the dark of the morning and sit at watches for about three hours. and then reconvene back at camp to organize a push or a drive through some swamps and a peninsula known for holding deer. Regardless of your reason for taking part in a hunt or what you do while on a watch, the sounds of the woods in the late fall is mesmerizing. And when you least expect it, deer often appear out of nowhere, showing you how challenging hunting can be. I lost 
sight of him. There's a couple of fawns. They snuck in behind me. I stood up and turned around. And the doe came right over the hill and busted me. She snorted and ran down the hill. But... Pete is Mr. Consistency and always manages to get his deer. How many yards is that? Uh, I'm guessing it's 40 yards. That's not bad. No, it's not, not bad. Not bad. Where's the hair? You said there's some hair over here? Yeah, right here on the trail. Even right here. Right here. She didn't go too far, I take it. No. Nope. That's a good doe. Holy mackerel. Since he's retired, it's nice to see him have success and get his meat for the winter. Gulf Alive presents The Fishing End. Got him. Oh, yeah. If you're gonna take your musky fishing seriously, you need to have the edge and have a leader. Now there's wire leaders, steel leaders, titanium leaders, but I'm gonna show you how to make a virtually invisible 130 pound fluorocarbon leader. All you need is about 30 inches of that 130 pound fluorocarbon and a ball bearing swivel, a cross lock swivel, a pair of scissors and some needle nose pliers. First thing you're gonna do is take your cross snap swivel. You're gonna tie a fluorocarbon leader knot. It's a pretty easy knot to tie. You just need to have lots of a tag end. So you're gonna bring it down through there once, grab onto your loop, so you've got your line doubled over, and then simply roll three loops over that loop that you created. What I like to do is roll each loop onto my thumb and hold it. Two, three. Now that you got your three loops there, see them? Pinch them together like that. Bring your tag end through the, the original loop, back up through your three loops, get a hold of it. Make sure your loops stay in order, like that. And then pull it tight. And once you get it down there, take your tag end, give it a tug to make the loops all come together. And you have got a super tight knot. You just clip off that tag end. One thing I like to do with that tag end too with those needle nose pliers is squish it a little bit so it doesn't slip back through or you can put some crazy glue on it. And then you've got yourself a two foot invisible 130 pound musky proof leader. I have two small children at home. I have a son Simon who's 12 years old and I have a daughter Abigail who's nine. Simon is thrilled with hunting and fishing. He uh, actively participates in different activities with myself and him where we go fishing um, on, an, on different occasions throughout the year. And he uh, most, recently had, most recently came up here for a duck hunt uh, this fall and he was thrilled with the activities that led into the hunt and participated in retrieving the ducks for the hunt and he loves it. Coming up, more great hunting. More than a century ago, Browning introduced the auto-loading shotgun to the world. Today's Browning Silver continues that tradition with greater reliability, softer felt recoil, better handling, and more features than ever before. The Browning Silver, the auto-loading shotgun that does it all. Browning, the best there is. Fish are gonna need a new place to hide. Exclusive side imaging from Humminbird. Scan more water faster with 480 feet of side-to-side -side coverage and see structure detail with amazing picture-like images. Humminbird, simply, clearly, better. A new age of modern scope technology has arrived. Burris Optics presents 
the Eliminator. The Eliminator incorporates laser range finding technology with automatic bullet drop compensation calibrated to your rifle and bullet combination. Burris Optics, leading the way in modern scope technology. Burris's new Eliminator rifle scope, changing rifle scopes forever. Just range them and eliminate them. Now's the time you've been waiting for. Lund 1775 and 1875 Pro-Vs are back. Pro-Vs are built tough with double-plated hulls, marine-grade treated plywood, and reinforced transoms. Plus, Lund's exclusive IPS2 hull provides precise boat control and a soft, dry ride. State-of-the-art live wells, accessories, and tons of storage for rods and gear, making all Pro-Vs the choice of professionals. Visit your local Lund dealer and reward yourself with the best. You've waited long enough. By sending a group across the peninsula and having two shooters at the other end, we usually manage to get some action and have taken many deer this way. Okay, so if you look off to my right here, this high ridge, the other guys are all at the end of it. And there's a beaver dam here, and a beaver dam right over here that's uh, kind of broken up, so they're gonna push down on this. And what'll happen is, uh, it usually takes them about 10 minutes to go through it, 15 minutes tops, if they go slow. Um, but what happens is, as soon as they get on it, it's about a maybe a, maybe about a, I'd say close to a kilometer, I don't know. But as soon as they get onto it, depending on the wind, the deer will start working their way down here. And what they'll do is they'll come down this face, or they'll, come around the sides of this ridge and try and cross these dams. So yeah, it's been a good, I don't know, th th four to five minutes, I guess. So if anything's coming, it'll be coming soon. The guys will usually uh, shout or whistle or make some racket when they jump a deer. <sighs> A lot of time a deer will just uh, hear them coming and be gone so far ahead of them they won't even know the deer was on the island. Right here coming across the dam. It's a doe, it's a doe. Got her. Our group stays connected with two-way radios and smartphones. So when you do hear that shot, it's not long before you know who got lucky. Well, we just found out that uh, Mike got himself a nice doe. We pushed this, uh, this whole little island here. It's both surrounded by water, so we got a nice funnel point down here, and uh, it paid off. Here, dear. I picked that one out just for you. Oh, that's a good chunk of a doe. That's a good yeah. doe. Yeah. Beautiful. It's a little wet. See how good these things stick when they're wet. The guys all get a chance to take part in the harvest, and when it works, everyone is on hand to do the field dressing and help get the deer back to camp. A good meal, a card game or two, and some great stories of the day in the field make the deer camp tradition one that keeps us all coming back year after year, and one that is sure to be passed on from generation to generation. When I first went hunting, I was, I went in, well, I was hunting for years, a couple years, but then I went in with my dad's deer camp. I was 17. I think the best moment I ever had was when my son came with me for the first time and he shot three deer and a bear the first week. Uh, I bought, uh, it was actually a Ranger shotgun from Canadian Tire that I bought. And uh, the first year I got three deer and a bear with that gun and it was, that worked great. I, I used it a couple years after that. Uh, that was the highlight. 
For those of us who take part, I say hats off and best of luck this season. And for those who don't, well, I say you don't know what you're missing. I cannot foresee myself ever not hunting as part of my uh, lifestyle. It, uh, for me, it's time away with my friends. Uh, it's very relaxing. It's time away from the rat race. It, it's, it's a good time of the year. Uh, I, do not, um, I do not see a time where I will stop coming to deer camp. Uh, there was a time when I didn't come. Uh, that was for my own personal choices, but uh, I'm kind of, I'm glad I'm back into it again to spend more time with the people I should be spending time with. And also hunting. <laughs> I don't see a time where I'll ever stop coming to deer camp. I think as long as I'm able to get myself up and into the woods, I'll be back there trying to uh, call in the deer and help my friends out with theirs. No, I can't see it. As long as I can walk, I'll be here. And then I have four wheelers if I can't walk. Angler and Hunter Television was brought to you by Canadian Tire, a proud partner of Angler and Hunter Television, Mercury Marine, and Lund Boats, Yamaha ATVs. What kind of Yamaha are you? Browning, the best there is. Excalibur Crossbow, compact recurve technology. The new matrix changes everything. And Yukon Gear. Visit Angler and Hunter Television online at ahtv.com. You can find more information on today's show and past episodes or other great websites of the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. And remember to conserve and protect the great outdoors.